How? What's going on you guys? My name is Brandon and welcome all back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since we have spoken last. And yes, hot minute. Is this like a new term that people are using nowadays? These kids are using? Because I keep hearing it's been like a minute or been a hot minute. Maybe I'm just behind on the times. I have a confession. I may or may have not done a Q&A for like the past six months. I don't know, I kind of went through like one of those weird phases where I didn't want to do a Q&A because I felt like it was such an easy cop out and you guys would be mad at me. But so many of you guys have been requesting a Q&A and I didn't even realize it was that long. If you want more Q&As, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and down below. Let me know if I should do more Q&As because I value your opinions. What is this, dance move? Also, I may have like a huge announcement slash a huge thing starting on October 3rd on this channel. So check back October 3rd because you're gonna be excited and you guys are gonna love it because I love it and I'm working on it really hard for you guys right now. Psst. Hey, make sure you stay till the end of the video. I have a special Hotel Transylvania 2 unboxing. Um, I went to the movie premiere. Just wait, you're gonna love it. Brandon, how do you feel when people say that you've helped them? I love you. Um, you know, recently at VidCon, I had some people say that to me and, you know, I didn't think I've ever helped anyone before because I'm me. But someone had came up to me, a few individuals, and one that really stuck out was when someone was like, Brandon, you helped me so much when I was cutting my wrist and I'd watch your videos or you would respond to me on Kick Messenger or Twitter or like my photos. And I, it took me a while to kind of fathom that just me responding and talking to someone could help them so much. But, you know, like I said, when I started this channel, I'm here for you guys, I'm here to help you guys, and if I can make you guys' day better just by me sitting here and talking, then I've done my job. So, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you. Thank you for letting me do that for you. Next question. How do I make new friends in high school? Okay, so it's a lot easier said than done, but the number one thing that I've realized in my time is that you just go up to some people that you really find interesting, introduce yourself, hopefully you guys have the same likes or dislikes, and you guys can bond and mesh. Um, another good thing is like get into like uh, after school activities or like clubs or sports, like go do freaking cheerleading. I'm sure you'll make it, well I don't know, cheerleading seems a little catty to me. Maybe go join the chess club. <laughs> <laughs> um, not knocking anyone down who does that, but I'm just saying, find people who like the same stuff as you, be yourself, that's really key, and just don't be too stressed out. It's high school, you're gonna get through it, you're gonna make it out alive, I promise. I love you, okay? Okay. Favorite TV show slash movies? So my favorite shows right now are Empire and How to Get Away with the Murder, and I'm currently on like an obsessed train of watching scary Halloween movies. But I guess you could say Hocus Pocus. That's like a more family oriented movie. I love that movie. So yeah. I wish Brandon would notice me. I love you, Brandon. Emily, I love you too. I was going to respond in the comment section, but I was like, why not just put you in the video? Girl, I love you. You are amazing. Mwah. There you go. Next question. Can you do a handstand? If so, do it. By the way, I love you so much. I love you so much too, but I don't love you that much now that you're making me like get up and like do something. But I'm kidding. Okay. Let's go attempt a ham ham hamster stand. Yeah. Okay, I'm recording this on my iPhone. The quality is probably a little shitty. I'm probably gonna knock over furniture and hurt myself. I hope you're happy. Um, handstand. Okay. How do you? I. Oh, uh, I don't. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Ta-da! Christina asked, you're so tall in person, LOL, but exactly how tall are you? Did I really just say LOL out loud? Um, <laughs> Christina, you vlog bombed me and I don't appreciate it. Don't think I forgot you and your like awesome Halloween makeup you had going on. Um, I'm actually 6'2", and yeah, I'm very tall, but I don't look like it right now because I'm sitting down. What is your all-time favorite fall food? Pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, I love pumpkin pie. A lot of people don't, but I could just eat pumpkin pie all day. I love the crust, the golden flaky, yummy, goodness crust. <sighs> Next question. Do you have a crush with someone? I think you meant on someone. And uh, yes, yes I do. Next question, who is Bay? You guys are really interested who I'm dating, huh? Uh, oop, did I just spill some beans? So um, I did get a lot of questions about who I'm dating, 
and when I feel the time is right is when I will let you guys know. I've always been a very personal person. I like keeping my uh, YouTube side of my life and my personal side away from each other, but I'm doing a bad job because like I keep posting about it on my Snapchat and a little bit on my Instagram, but um, yeah. Next question, Spanish Fly asks, what is your opinion on Nicole Arbor and body shaming? Oh man, this is an interesting question because I have debated on making a video. Ooh, just got a text. Elena, my cousin, Snapchatted me. Hi, you're in my video. Um, so, you know, I could go into such depth about this girl right here and how ignorant and how honestly just revolting her video was to watch. All I can say is that I thought her video maybe at first she would have been like kind of funny and eased up a little bit because she is a quote unquote comedian. But uh, the things she just said were just uncalled for. And then in recent interviews, she was saying that she doesn't like take any of it back. She's, she's just so close minded and she doesn't understand that people sometimes can't control their weight and that people have issues and eating disorders. There are so many teens around the freaking globe who have eating disorders, male and female. And and she has the nerve just to sit there and criticize these people and tell them, well, you're fat and you suck, basically is what she's saying. And I think it's just absolutely disgusting and it hits home and I'm not saying that I'm overweight or anything like that, but I've dealt with my own weight issues and everyone does and she should know better than to knock down so many people and I just, I think what she did was complete bullshit if I was to be honest and she shouldn't be recognized and she shouldn't get, be getting all this fame for it. But, you know, the internet works in a strange way. We made someone from Target famous. So, I don't know. We're just, we're in a time of age right now where the pressure to be perfect is so freaking strong. And there's so many teens out there trying to be somebody they're not and just to be perfect. And they see all this stuff, people on YouTube and Instagram and all that. And it's just like, we just need to love ourselves, and I know this sounds so freaking cheesy, but we need to love ourselves first and be happy with who we are. And we just have to realize we were given this body for a reason. You know, we were given our life for a reason, and just take it from there. I just think really bad timing on Nicole's part, and she should have really watched her words a lot better, especially as an influencer. All of YouTube, a YouTuber is an influencer, and I just, she really, I don't know, I'm done. I'm done with it. If you could go out with a celebrity, who would it be and why? You guys know this one. Come on, where's my true fans? Jennifer Lopez. Um, I think she is sexy, and she's like the hot mama. It's like, psst, hot. Uh, and she's like 49, which is my mom's age, and uh, I'm joking. Let's move on. Okay, so those were all the questions. I'm now going to uh, get my Hotel Transylvania goodie bag, and we are gonna see what is inside. If you guys haven't seen the movie yet, it is out in theaters right now. I love the movie. Once again, I went to the pre-premiere, and it was so much fun. Uh, here's some footage from the premiere. And before we went and watched the movie, they gave us a little goodie bag. So let's see what's inside. Uh, the first thing that they gave me are some little, it seems to be like bat ears. It says Hotel 2, Hotel Transylvania 2. So uh, I'm gonna try these on, probably gonna mess up my hair. Messy hair, don't care. Do I look as ridiculous as I feel? I don't know. Go watch the movie. <laughs> swear this isn't sponsored. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this next thing is. Wrapped all nicely. Oh my gosh, I think I know what it is. Hold on, I need some room for this. It is a cape, so I can be like Dracula. Oh my gosh, can I put this on right now? <laughs> Aha, I am Dracula. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh gosh, this is amazing, I love it. Oops, sorry Moose, I just hit my cat. This is awesome. Should I wear, no, I should not wear this for the rest of the video. Okay, it won't come off now. <laughs> Mom, I need some help. This cape won't come off. <laughs> I'm feeling suffocated. Ow, 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 my ear, my ear. 
Okay, well, ow, wasn't expecting to do that. Uh, the next item in this bag are some Hotel Transylvania teeth. Um, Rawr. Rawr. Ow. <laughs> um, the next thing in here is a book. Hotel Transylvania 2 activity book. There you go, you can see it. Um, there's some crossword puzzles, talk about the movie. I don't know, I actually really like doing this kind of fun stuff. What else is in here? Oh, it's like a little uh, Hotel Transylvania pencil case. And inside is a notebook, I think. A drawing notebook, Hotel Transylvania. Um, there's some Hotel Transylvania stickers. There's a Hotel Transylvania ruler, so you can rule out all of the sluts in your life. And what's probably most useful to me is a pen, because I'm always losing my pens. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. All right, I think there's one more item in this goodie bag. And guess there is. Is this chaps? No, it is Hotel Transylvania 2 Blubby Blobby Putty. Oh, the Blobby character. Uh, it's putty. Why is everything so hard to open? I must dash you. No, okay. So it's like putty, I guess. Let's see if I can hit the lens. Nope, that was a fail. <laughs> well, that was fun. Thank you again, Sony and Awesomeness TV. You guys are amazing. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are the amazing ones. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Um, make sure you guys come back October 3rd. We got some big, big things happening here. Well, maybe not like hugely big, but it's big in my opinion. Uh, make sure you follow all my social media down below and enter my current Halloween giveaway and you guys can go win a Halloween candle from Bath & Body Works. Um, that is it for me. I love you guys so, so much. Stay happy, stay positive, and stay smelling fresh. Bye. <laughs>